A judge in the U.S. city of Minneapolis has sentenced the former police officer Derek Chauvin to 22 and a half years in jail for the murder of George Floyd. The 46-year-old African-American died in May last year after Chauvin knelt on his neck for more than nine minutes during an arrest. The lawyer for Mr. Floyd's family says the sentence is historic, bringing America a step closer to healing by delivering accountability. Well, our correspondent Neda Taufik is in Minneapolis, and a warning, her report contains some distressing images. Your Honor, Keith Ellis, Senate Attorney General, on behalf of the state of Minnesota. This courtroom has been the scene of powerful testimony. Today, it became a place of closure for the Floyd family. The judge began proceedings by inviting them to speak. Mr. Blackwell, you may proceed with victim input. His daughter, Gianna, appeared first on video. At just seven years old, she is too young and innocent to comprehend fully what happened to her father. It will be our mission and I love you. His brother Terrence struggled to speak as he addressed Derek Chauvin directly. I wanted to know from the man himself why. What were you thinking? What was going through your head? when you had your knee on my brother's neck? Why, why when, you, when you knew that he posed no threat anymore? Those are questions that remain unanswered since Derek Chauvin chose not to testify in his defense during his trial. For the first time, the public got a more intimate look into his character from his mother. It has been difficult for me to hear and read what the media, public, and prosecution team believed Derek to be an aggressive, heartless, and uncaring person. I can tell you that is far from the truth. And then Derek Chauvin himself spoke. I want to give my condolences to the Floyd family. The judge said his decision was not influenced by public opinion or meant to send any messages. A sentence for count one. The court commits you to the custody of the Commissioner of Corrections for a period of 270 months. It's rare for the justice system to punish a police officer, and it took an extraordinary series of events to get to this moment. Crucially, his murder was caught on camera in chilling detail. George Floyd was pinned to the ground with Derek Chauvin's knee on his neck for nine minutes and 29 seconds. More than 20 times, Mr. Floyd cried out, I can't breathe. I can't believe you. I can't believe you. It traumatized the community and shocked the world, prompting the biggest protest since the civil rights era. Mr. McMahon, do you need a minute? <laughs> the trial was so compelling that the jury delivered a unanimous guilty verdict after just 10 hours of deliberations. Mom, and get right back in the fight. This outcome was in no way inevitable. Still, this one sentence of this one disgraced police officer will only do so much to advance racial equality and the struggle of being black in America. This is the longest sentence a police officer has received in the state of Minnesota. And speaking outside of the courthouse following the sentencing, the family said they do feel some measure of accountability. They hope this is a turning point in America because they feel that the activism surrounding this case could mean real change moving forward. And they told those gathered here outside of the courthouse to keep fighting for justice. Nada, thank you for that. Nada Tafik there live in Minneapolis.